as Home Office representatives arrive for a parish council meeting in Linton on Ouse, residents make clear their opposition to the plans for an asylum centre. The village, population around six or seven hundred, is home to a former RAF base, now earmarked to become a processing centre for up to 1,500 asylum seekers. There's no nimbyism about it at all. It is quite categorically the wrong place because there's nothing here. Home Office guidelines state that asylum seekers should be accommodated in conurbations. As you can see, we're a tiny little rural village and um, it's not the right place for this type of uh, establishment. It's supposed to be a democratic society, but nobody's asked us. And now, apparently, they're arriving next week. Inside, the officials explained a desire to work with the community. But this is a community that doesn't want to work with them. <laughs> Stop treating us like imbeciles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From here on in, we recognise the fact that you feel that you haven't been engaged fully and that we do want to try and start that process. The Home Office says the plans will help end a reliance on expensive hotels, which is currently costing the taxpayer £4.7 million a day. The local Conservative MP has also raised his objections in Parliament. It will devastate the community. It will devastate house prices, which will plummet. And the, the residents of that village will not feel safe to leave their homes alone. Those who work to help people seek sanctuary in the UK also have concerns. Well, we know that accommodation centres like this are extremely harmful for the people who are placed in them. They are uh, destructive to people's mental health. They end up very isolated and feeling uh, like they're stuck in, in limbo and se separated from the rest of society. Legal challenges are currently being considered by both residents and the district council. But with the first asylum seekers scheduled to arrive at the end of this month, time is short for those who want to force the Home Office to think again. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Linton on News.